All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon playthrough. What is going on, everyone? Hopefully, you all are having a great day today. And hopefully, you guys are ready for another exciting part of this amazing adventure in the Alola region. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like down below. And if you did miss part one of our playthrough, you guys are definitely not going to want to miss it. It's definitely worth your watch. So here we are because now we actually have to go ahead and uh, meet our boy Kukui in Route 1 and uh, exciting stuff. It's very exciting stuff. So now we're actually starting off. Last episode we just kind of, you know, we started the game a little bit. We got to get to, you know, we're just feeling ourselves out but now we're actually, we're, about, we're actually about to cook right now. But speaking of cooking, here we got our boy, young chef Ramsey, is in the building, the Litten. This was our starter, and it's got Scratch, Ember, and Growl. You guys know the drill. You guys know the deal already. Chef Ramsey, Chef Gordon Ramsey is here, and let's just go ahead and get into this. I'm not even going to try and flex or anything. We're just, we're just getting right into this. I, I just want to play Sun and Moon. I don't really care at this point. Yeah, over here. And you know what, dude? You don't have to tell me twice. I will... Come straight to you, my boy. Come straight to you. So you know what that wild Pokemon... Uh, wait, <laughs> please. So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass. Yeah, now you've got a Litten there. Uh, now you can... Uh, uh, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah. You can also try to catch them. Woo! And may I remind you guys that it also is like... It's 12.40 a.m. right now. So if my speech at all is a bit messed up. If I read something wrong, please just bear with me. I am running on a... um. What am I even running on right now? Like, not even that much sleep. I, I don't even know what's going on. I just know that... I, I talked about it last episode. I am pretty much screwed for my school day tomorrow. Like, <laughs> but I am doing this because I just want to play Sun and Moon. I am just chilling. I am chilling. And why is Rockruff actually huge? What the heck? Or is that just me seeing something? Oh, yeah. Last episode, I was talking about how I wanted to get a drink. Um, I think I said I wanted to get milk, and I got milk. So, yay. Good stuff. Drink your milk, kids. It's got... Calcium, right? Protein shit makes your bones strong. If you're lactose intolerant, um, I don't know, there's like lactate, lactose and fucking free. Excuse me, my potty mouth. It's it's also 12, so it's, uh, you know, when, you, you, when it gets a little bit later, I think everyone can relate. Whenever you think something, you just kind of say it. Like, <laughs> like that's just kind of what happens when it's late at night, and I think everyone is guilty of it in their own way. Oh yeah, wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team to be great help for you. Yeah, but if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting, you just head home for a bit. If you ask mom, I'm sure she'll let your whole team rest up at home. Or you could use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs. Oh boy, here are some Pokeballs. Now we get... Good drinks, man. Uh, you obtained five potions. Look at us. We are. We now. Now we're rolling. Okay. Now we are really rocking and rolling. And is it safe to say that we're pretty much starting our adventure now? Is it safe to say? I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. So originally, I had two cannon on my team, and I don't know if I want to use it anymore because it was simply. Like, I was like, oh, okay, I can just get Pikapex Evolution because, um, you, you know, I need a flyer. And then someone pointed out in the comments that fly is not even a thing anymore. Like, it, it, fly got replaced by, um, by what's it called? Fly got replaced by, like, Poker Ride and all that stuff. So, you don't really use HMs anymore, to my knowledge, at least. So, I don't need a flyer. I don't need a staple flyer. I do not need a staple water type, um, stuff like that. Uh, so I definitely, I, I, I think we're going to pass on catching Pikapek. I feel like a lot of people are going to use two cannon too. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, the only Pokemon, I, I do know I want to use Toxapex really badly. So if anyone knows to where, uh, like where I can any, get any, if I can get close to, look at this amazing Pokemon right here. Get closer to catching a Toxapex or getting a Toxapex. I know the pre-evolutions like Merenda, I don't even know how to pronounce that thing. But it's really cool, so if anyone knows how to get that. Uh, I would very much appreciate it. And I understand you guys have a lot of free will in the comments, but I would very much appreciate it if you don't do any spoilers. If you want to tell me that I missed an item, please feel free. I will absolutely love you if you tell me I missed like a crucial item or something like that. Or maybe even if you, you know, if I ask a question, you answer it. Like, that's the only thing. If I ask the question, please uh, feel free to answer if you can. Uh, don't feel obligated. It's, it's all good. It's whatever. 
Uh, but if I don't really ask something, I just, it's not out of my, it's not in my interest. I don't really want to get spoiled. I'd rather just figure it out for myself or have to ask it. Uh, but that's, that's just the way I think it. Obviously, you guys can, whether you want to, you know, try to, try to be a little nice, be a little respect. Oh, that's a little bit <laughs> I'm a little bit respectful, I really much appreciate it, but it's okay, guys. It, it, we, are, we are chilling. I'm just gonna be happy no matter what, no matter what we do to this LP. We're just gonna have a good time. We're just having a good time. We are just chilling, and I actually really like Alone Ratata. I, I think it's just, I think it's really cool. I don't know. I like its mustache. A lot of people don't like it. Not as much of a fan as Alone Ratata, but I think Alone Ratata, he, he's sweet. He's all smug. He's all sly. He kind of reminds me of Litten. He actually really reminds me of Litten now that I think about it. So smug. It's like, damn, I already finished this freaking drink. Oh, that's very unfortunate. That is, uh, that's quite unfortunate. But well, you know what? It's okay. Alright, so, actually, that's really cool. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but, like, he didn't walk towards me. You, you could just battle from afar. I don't know, I think that's cool, because it's, it, it's more realistic. Like, if you want to battle someone, you would walk towards them, and then be like, okay, let's battle, and then walk away so you can battle. That doesn't make any sense. This makes sense, so I'm, I'm glad they figured that out. I'm glad they figured that out. All right, so let's see. Lass, a lace, last, I think it's last, yeah, last Audrey. I've never known how to say that ever since this game freaking came out. Not even like Sun and Moon, ever since Pokemon came out. Like, that's how crazy that is. Maybe I'm just illiterate. Maybe I can't read. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, whatever, it doesn't matter. Who cares? So let's just destroy this thing. Boom, you stupid bug. Actually, I take that back. You're not stupid, Caterpie. Sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, I've had it. I mean, I'm sure you have. I'm sure. Okay. Okay, so I, I just want to see what we can get on this route. Like, I'm so scared that we're going to be missing a Pokemon. Like, something so cool is just going to be chilling somewhere, and I'm going to miss it, and then I'm going to be like, oh, oh, well, that really sucks. Ooh, what is this? Looks like it's blocked off. Hmm. Okay, 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 what we got? The number one route on the spectrum. Okay, cool. What is this? Trainer tips. Okay, whatever. Don't care, don't care. Wow. Last patch. There's not even tiles in this game and it's still the last patch. Come on, what is it? A young goose. Okay. Fortunately, I don't really have any interest in using gumshoes, but you know what? This is still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. I I just certainly want to use the generic normal types. Really, like, you know, what do I mean? Like, if we were playing Hoenn or something, it'd be like Zigzagoon. Like, I don't know. I just don't really feel like using it. And obviously, Young Goose would be the counterpart for Alola. Stuff like that. I don't know. I, I just don't really feel it. I want some more variety. Even though there's... I don't even know how much variety I can do. I do know that I want to use a full Alola team. Um, just so we just get to experience it, you know? Just so we get to experience it. And a lot of my team that uh, I did in the team video, um, it, it, you get a lot of it late game apparently. And that is, that's really unfortunate because I don't want to have, you know, just a litten until like the, the end part of the game where we're like, oh yeah, let's just use all these team members now. <laughs> let's just get like six, right? Or five team members out of a full party now. Great. Now we have to take on freaking last boss or something like that. I don't know. I, I can't even say Elite Four. Or, actually, I think there is an Elite Four in this game, right? That's not a spoiler, I'm pretty sure that was already confirmed in a trailer. Yeah, that was definitely confirmed in a trailer. Or they said like, the Elite Four's not finished yet or something, I don't freaking know, whatever. Who cares? Who cares, man? Who cares? Do us me all. <laughs> Have you guys seen that picture where it's like, it's um, gumshoes, because people make fun of how gumshoes looks like Donald Trump. And it's um, it's gumshoes and he's talking to the Alolan Rattata. And he's like, uh, hey Alolan Rattata, you know, <laughs> I don't freaking, I don't even want to talk about it anymore, but it's funny because the Rattata is just like, Dios mio, and I think it's, it's, it's pretty kind, it's pretty comedic right there, it's, it's some comedy, it's some classic comedy, ha ha ha, classic comedy. We always get so close to the Pokemon, and it's like, uh, oh, you didn't want to encounter a wild battle? Oh, I thought that was going to be something cool, but it really wasn't, I don't care about you, Lady but can you please go away? I, don't, I really don't, really don't care, really, you know, I do not care, I do not care. I'm excited to see what move we get first. It pr probably won't be anything too cool. Maybe it'll just be like Foresight or something a little... Eh, and then we'll maybe get... I want to get a Dark move. I want Bite. I think Bite is going to be really cool. I know we're not a Dark type yet, but eventually... Uh, that could be very, very beneficial. But I also don't see us keeping Bite until... I would think level 36? Maybe they changed up the evolution levels of the starters in these games. No idea. 
No idea. I just know that I want to get a tour cat now. I want a tour. Nice. Nice. Freaking Metapod. Love, love these early game encounters, man. Early game is so slow, but honestly, I'm still having fun. I don't really care. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. It's all good. Uh, look at that. Finally got through the grass. It doesn't look like there's anything too crazy there. Obviously, we had our pick a peck, we had Young Goose, but I don't, I don't really have an interest in using any of those guys. But here we are. Wherever this is. Oh, yeah, he wanted us to join them at the festival. That's right, I forgot about that. So, is this where. Are we gonna see like Tapu Koko again or something? I have no idea. The other region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardians, uh, guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. While we may call it a festival, this is just a little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, um, but at least every uh, last one of us goes all out. And you know what? That's right. Quality over quantity, big fella. Quality over quantity. Here's how again. Hello, my dude. Hello. Hello, and how's that Rowlet that I bodied? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Rowlet have been waiting for ages. Ooh. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Uh, no, no one really hooked me up with the details. Oh yeah, right on time. Uh, about to what exactly? Pew, pew, pew. I'm getting tired of this little Cosmog interjecting every once in a while, just saying pew. It's like you're not benefiting the conversation. Can you please shut your mouth? As adorable as you are, you're not really helping. <laughs> You're not helping our cause. Your Pokemon have fought for you, uh, so show them uh, some care, the same care in return. Allow me to heal them for you this time. What a good guy. What a good guy. And he's killing that shirt, by the way. He's killing the floral. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Oh, dude, I totally forgot to talk about something. Um, what's it called? Uh, we hit 50,000 subscribers. That's freaking unreal. We hit 50k, um, yesterday, actually. And... That's, it's insane. I'll talk more about it later because I want to talk about this right now, but um, yeah, we'll, hold on. we'll touch about it in a second. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection for them and all melee melee. Uh, may this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island guardian's deity, Tabu Koko. Before stands Hao, grandson of the Kahuna. Okay, so that's how, okay, that's how, that's how Hao is. <laughs> and before stands Supra, the one who was met with Tabu Koko. Wait, do we have to battle him again? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, ah, that's just so typical of it. Litten, take care of my little Supra. As long as we both have a good time, I think we can call it a great... Wait, we have to battle how again? Super how, bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Alright. I guess. I mean, I'm fine with it, it's whatever. It's whatever. But yeah, guys, 50,000 subscribers. It's an unreal milestone. Uh, thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm not really good with thanking people, um, unfortunately. I do have a celebration for 50k. I normally really don't do celebrations, mostly because I'm just not, I'm, I'm not good with them. I'm not really good at coming up with ideas, and if you know anything about me, you do know that I'm not necessarily a perfectionist, but I do like everything to be up to a certain standard, and I just, if I think that I don't have a good idea, I just kind of scrap it. So, that's just my reasoning there, uh, why I haven't really done, you know, like a thank you video for certain milestones. It's not that I'm ungrateful, because I, I show on Twitter that I am grateful. I thank everyone. I thank you guys in videos, but it's, just, I don't know, it's just not something I'm good at, and I really wish I was better. But I do have a celebration for 50k, and I think it's really awesome. You guys have been asking for this for a long time, and I think it's finally time. I think it's finally time, and it's gonna be a fuego. It's gonna be a fire. I'm sorry, I had to say it like that. I'm very sorry. I don't know why I had to say fire after, because I said it was fuego. But maybe some people don't know that fuego means fire. What? The, who cares, man? I overthink everything, and that's a problem. That is a problem. All right, kill this thing. Well, actually, don't kill it, because Rowlet's pretty cool. But maybe if you faint it, that'd be. It's, that, I guess that'd be good enough. You don't necessarily have to kill it. I don't feel like that's a little bit unnecessary <laughs> I feel like that might be overdoing it just by a little bit but you know what? It's okay and you're so sad I'm sorry buddy I'm sorry we are level eight now god damn we are leveling up we are grinding we are a lick okay that is definitely not what I expected but it makes sense so whatever what it's already over you received 140 polka dollars what a that is some money right there money bags money bag money bag money bag Ooh, he, another great battle this year. I uh, bet Tapu Koko liked it too. He wasn't even here, bro. He wasn't even here. He's just. What if he was just chilling on the sidelines after we got out of the battle? 
Uh, oh, you heard it here uh, yourself. Tepu Coco's song of approval. Oh, we nearly forgot. I think it's time for you to take this, Supra. Do we finally get this like little ring thing that he snatched from us? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Cool beans. You slipped the Z ring onto your wrist. Yo, wrist was broke, so I applied ice. <laughs> wrist was broke. <laughs> I hate myself. Uh, you're seeing uh, your Z ring, a mysterious um, armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It brings forth their Z power. We Kahunas can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Coco. Although until you collect more Z crystals during the island challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokemon. And you have already received the sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Coco took Hoy a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what mission it is, uh, what the, that mission is. The island challenge. Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here. I what is he doing? He's just like takes over the conversation. He's got his hand out. He's trying to count. Uh, you'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Whoa. Uh, sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the island challenge later. Uh, okay. I mean, whatever you say, big fellow. Whatever you say. And it looks like that whole festival is over with. Unfortunately, it was pretty lit. Everyone was getting turned, you know, was enjoying themselves. Uh, Tapu Coco was amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebu. Pew and me? What are you talking about? Me too. Uh, it's oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, I interjected before my character could. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. I like how he's just waving. Suppose it's time you get home, kid. It's literally daytime out. Then I suppose this is goodbye. Like, come on, man. It's daytime. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Honey, I'm home. Mirar. I, I don't know how to translate that. Uh, oh, super. You're back already. I thought you want to stay in Icky Town. I mean, as much as I liked Icky Town, I kind of got kicked out. Especially right after that great battle. Ooh, I was so captivated by seeing my own boy fight in such a perfect sync with this Pokemon. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that uh, island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But now I've got a date with my bed. Oh, date with my bed. Who's in that bed? Oh, mom, get a little frisky, I see. Damn. Get a little date. Who's he? <laughs> I hate him. I freaking hate myself. I wonder how many times I'm going to end up saying that, but I... <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so dumb. Dude, stop doing... I don't know why we have to start every single day with her doing her little sun salutations on the freaking porch but it's definitely aggravating now you're not supposed to be happy come on i didn't mean to do that can we get back out of here and can we sweep up a little bit I, okay never mind never because we just can't do anything that i think would be moderately funny because we just keep walking in through the freaking door but let's just get out of here i think it's time i'm doing this island challenge the bull, bull. Never mind, because every single time we exit a place, there's a freaking cutscene. <laughs> Jeez, I really hope this is not the whole trend throughout the game. The professor said, uh, Hey there, Lily, bring me that great new trainer. Woo, so I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab. Supra. What's up, mother? Here, a little pocket money for you. Ooh, let's give me some money, girl. Some money. Some. I need some food, because we need to eat. Oh, well, actually, we have Gordon Ramsay in the party, so, you know, we just need to get some ingredients, and boom, we are cooking. We are cooking. All right, what's you? Anything else, Mom? Looks like it's finding your time to shine, sweetie. Okay, but this is, yeah, this is the only complaint I really have with the early game, is there's a lot of cutscenes, there's a lot of handheld, like, they're just holding your hand through the beginning of it. I really wish we could just kind of start. I really like that they're trying to incorporate more storyline, and I think that's really cool, and I appreciate it, but just from a playing standpoint... It, you know, it's, it gets a little old after just a tiny little bit. Muar. Enough already, Tauros. Calm down. You're going to hurt somebody. Good point. Oh, so we can't go that way, I guess? Okay. So I guess what? Not, not that way. Oh, so we can't go this way, I take it? Wait, but I thought... All right, so obviously we don't want to hurt. You know, anyone getting hurt? Oh, this way. I'm an idiot. Uh, you can only reach the professor's lab by heading, uh, treading through the tall grass here. All right. Since I'm not a trainer enough, I will rely on using rappels all the time. Okay. Okay. I mean, Cosmo. Okay. Whatever. I don't care, girl. All right. Just, just, just go. You just saved me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmo for themselves to use that power. That's why only Professor and Kahuna Hala, uh, Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep it a secret? Can you uh, not tell anyone about Nebi or what happened on that bridge, please? 
I mean, I don't know. That was, that was pretty crazy. I gotta tell that story and then be like, yeah, dude, so I was, I was chilling, and then this, this lady tried to attack me, right? And then Tapu Koko said I was a god, and he saved me, and then we were like, yo, what's poppin' Tapu Koko? And then he was like, yo, what's Gucci? Oh, <gasps> hi, Slowpoke. I did not expect to see you here. I really didn't. I, I really didn't. As much as I'd love to use a Slowpoke, because, uh, I actually, know, I really appreciate that you can find these early game, though. That's really cool. That is really cool. But, um, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Alright, the awakening. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, come on, dude. Let me just... I want to find something cool. Let's see what's in this route. Can we... Anything... Actually, I don't know what other early game Pokemon we really have left to find. Like, I mean, that are new, obviously. And Wingle actually doesn't... Wait, does Wingle get Drizzle or does only Pelipper get Drizzle? I'm not 100% sure. Doesn't really matter to me, but I do think that's really cool that Pelipper does have Drizzle now. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of new abilities and stuff. They focused... Excuse me. They focused a lot on competitive this generation, and I think that's really cool. Um, if you want to see more in-depth discussion on, like, you know, the new changes and stuff, I did a video with Nexus a couple days ago, um, on my channel. Make sure you guys check that out if you want to. And we just go over pretty much everything, all the stats and stuff of the Ultra Beasts and Legendaries. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's Grub, and I totally forgot about that thing. That thing's pretty cool. I remember... I think I, I remember the first time I ever saw Vickable and I was which is obviously the final evolution I was like dude this thing is gonna be fast it, it's gonna be fast okay and it looks fast you, you no one can tell me that that thing does not look like it's a fast Pokemon like come on you'd be crazy if you didn't think Vickavolt was gonna be fast like you know it's an electric type Volt in its name it, it just makes sense but does it have it has like 30 to 50 speed I can't exactly remember I know it was definitely not a good speed stat it was so underwhelming it was disgustingly overwhelming Totally remember that. I uh, was seeing that and I was just like, wow, that is actually very shocking and kind of depressing at the same time. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Youngster Kevin, come on, bro. You gotta you gotta get your paperwork done. Cause we are chilling right now, and you are just kind of falling behind, youngster Kevin. I don't know, man. Uh you're just gonna tell me about ledges or something? Yeah, okay. I don't really think we have another Pokemon to look at in here, right? Am I am I wrong? Am I right? And yeah, who knows? Who even knows, man? Who knows? Grubbin, maybe? No, just a slow poke. I feel like you could probably find Grubbin on this route. I don't know, just a little feeling I have. Uh, but yeah, the only Pokemon I know... For, I, I don't know, there's some Pokemon I really know I want to use. I want to use Drampa, just because I like Drampa. Actually, I don't even know if I want to use Drampa. Man, dude, my... It, it, I don't freaking know what I want to do right now. I really don't know what... I, uh, oh. Check out my cute Pokemon, because I want to use Coma O, but I want to use Drampa, and I, I don't freaking know. I made that last minute decision to want to use Drampa, and I don't know how early you late these get these Pokemon, and it just doesn't. I don't know. I just don't know. I think it'd be cool to use Oricorio, too. Uh, just because that thing's really interesting. Not really sure what, uh. Huh. Excuse me, I'm not really sure what its stats are like. Maybe it's really good. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it'd be like crazy, but it also doesn't seem like it could be that bad. I mean, its ability is pretty cool, so you'd think if they gave it a nice little ability like Dancer, then maybe they would be like, you know, here's some nice stats to go with it. Make use of this ability. If you don't know what Dancer does, essentially, whenever the opponent uses a dancing move, it copies it. So, I don't know. Let's say you've got your Oricorio out, or like you, they got a Gyarados out, right? And then you switch in your Oricorio or Electric, and if they go for Dragon Dance, uh, not only are they getting their speed and attack, but you are also. And that's pretty cool. So now you're both equal, and you can just freaking destroy. I mean, if you're able to outspeed a Gyarados, and obviously, like I said, I don't know how fast Oricorio is, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say a Gyarados will probably outspeed an Oricorio. Just, uh, just gonna throw it out there. And where are we right now? I don't even know where we are. I just want to find some cool Pokemon, man. Like, that's all I really want to do. That's all I really want to do. Like, if we found the, um, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying, man. I, I'm just probably going to say a lot of, I'll spitball a lot, and I'll just say, like, yo, this sounds really good to say in my head, and then I'll say it, and I'll be like, wow, that really wasn't that intelligent. <laughs> that happens a lot, though. That happens in recordings and in real life at the same time. Not at the same time, like, simultaneously, but... You know what I mean. You know what I freaking mean. I don't have to clarify myself. I think that's what I do a lot. I I feel like people don't understand me when it's probably very simple. And I should just be like, you know what? They probably got it. And then I'm just like, no, they don't. See, you can totally tell it's late because I'm rambling and I have no idea what I'm talking about. It is 1.03 in the morning. <laughs> it honestly pains me to say that. Are you? We're not even on a patch of grass right now. Did you guys... 
We are, we are not. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It doesn't look like there's too much in these routes. I mean, it's fine. Really, really wish there was some more Alolan Pokemon that we could find, but you know what? Whatever. Hold on. We, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a detailed analysis on where I am right now, and let's see let's see if I'm on a tile right now. Let's just see. Let's just break it down real quick. Let's do some in depth. Uh... Yeah, that is definitely not grass. I I don't know what the heck was going on there. Definitely don't know. All right, there we go. So is this the lab? It's definitely a bit. It's definitely a fixer upper. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that, that could have been really wrong. That could have been really wrong. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm. I think you might agree. Yeah, it's definitely, like I said, it's a, it's a little bit of a fixer up. Yikes. I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know if there's an earthquake or something. I don't know if someone is getting killed. I, I don't know what's going on in this freaking building right now. I have no idea. And frankly, I, should I care? I Actually, I probably should, considering... He's my professor. Oh, a stuffle. Yo, if we could find a stuffle, I'd definitely be down to throw a beware on our team for now at least, because that that's really cool. I have no idea how stuffle evolves. It's probably not by level up. It's probably I mean I'm I'm gonna say it's by friendship. Maybe it's by something else. I don't freaking know. Maybe I'll look it up. Of course, however, I can be a help. I'm uh, supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockruff's moves were just so style, and I was making good progress with my research. So super. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. Here you go, buddy. Dude, the, will this man ever put on a shirt? That's the main question. I I don't think so. I, I think he's just chilling for the rest of his life without a shirt. Uh, I can tell you about Rotom. Oh, is this where we get the Rotom decks? Okay, I probably should be reading this then. It's the next generation of Pokedexes, or Pokedex I. <laughs> but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into it. Its body uh, specially developed for it. Whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokedex with these parts that I just got in. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Hey, look at that. Hey guys, sorry about Rotom. I guess I surprised you. Zist, zit, whatever. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Like, we, there's a lot of talking for Pokemon in this, and I'm just like, hey, let me talk like a Rotom. Zit, and then Rotom's just saying, so, oh, look at, well, oh my god, I freaking love that. Look at him, he's at the bottom of the screen. Nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? And look, he can talk. It's a talking Pokemon. See, now uh, Rotom can talk right to you. And this will help how exactly? Super hasn't been in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him the special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you very much. That's the, that's so freaking dope. I love this feature that they added. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and it will give you a little tap, and you can even check out on the town map. Who entered here? Oh, it's Hal. What's up, bro? What's up, homie? Alola. Alo to the la. Whoa, ho, ho. I don't know what to say, man. I feel like I should have more pizzazz in my voice because it's how, but like, I don't know how to talk. Is that a loft? No freaking way, dude. No, it's not. It's private. The professor is kind enough to let me use it. Uh, you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help? Uh, just them, right, Super? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in, in the loft. So, Super, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. So, Rotom, you look after Super, yeah? How is a Rotom gonna look after me? Can someone please tell me that? Uh, it's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go down together. They're from an islands that make up Alola and Kahula, uh, Kahula Kahuna uh, for each of them. Uh, if you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, you must clear the seven trials. Okay, okay, so that's one less than we normally have in badges, I guess. Interesting, meaning a Pokemon, or I mean these kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Okay, so here everybody on the island challenge gets one of these island challenge amulets. Okay. So we're styling, I guess. We're styling. I don't know how any of this works, man. I don't know what's going on right now. So apparently there's four islands with seven kahunas. So that means like there's two an island and then one of them just doesn't have one. It's probably This one probably only has one, not two, I guess. Uh, what about you, Hal? Uh, I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them, right? The island, dude, look at the Pokemon in the background. Look at the Snubble, Stuffle, and Rockruff. They are just having a ball. They are having a ball. Okay, so here we are. And now we're free to roam, finally, as if that didn't take long enough. Let's see if we can explore just a tad little bit. See what's going on. What's up, Poliwhirl? Goosh. Me too, man. Me too. We got some Pokeballs and stuff. I like the aquariums. The subtle aquariums. Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know if you guys see that on the bottom screen. I just clicked it. Um, look at that. What, what is this little red flag? Um, 
So this is where we are, right? Probably. And the red flag is where we have to go? So was it like, did they add quests or something like that? That's really cool if they did, because that's makes it very, uh, not like hard, but it makes it... What do I mean not my hard? That's not what I meant at all. It doesn't make it easy, but it just makes the game a little more guided, and that's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't really like when they hold your hand through games, but I feel like this is good. Like, um, I, I've been playing around a Skyrim recently, and unfortunately I probably won't be playing it anymore, even though I've been getting like super into it, considering, you know, Sun and Moon is out. And uh, the way they do it with their quest lines and stuff is like, you just put a quest on, and then it, you know, it shows you like on a little map, or not really a map, but like a little bar where to go. And uh, you can just navigate that way, and it's actually, it's really, really helpful. So if that's the way they're doing it here, I'm definitely, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's uh, a good way to do it. I don't think Pokemon's a game that should be focused on getting to where you are or anyways. Like, I don't feel like navigating through the story or ha like the har like the hardness of navigating. The story itself can be difficult. The battles can be challenging. But I feel like navigating should not be a struggle that you have with Pokemon. just don't think that's very cool uh, or very good way for them to do it. Hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first. So like I said, I'm in favor if that's the case. And it looks like it is because we went there and there was a cutscene with a lily. So I don't know what to believe now. I don't know what to believe. Okay, so here is Nurse Joy. She definitely got an upgrade, but we already saw her in the demo, so I'm not going to guess it too much. Uh, you also deposit Pokemon. Oh, the, the PC does look really cool. Definitely like that. I definitely do. Oh, at some point I got to transfer my copy of the... Uh, de Never mind, I'm pretty sure I had to delete my demo files in order to download this game. So unfortunately, we will not be getting Ash Greninja. Well, okay. Uh, I guess I can just get it traded to me or something. I set the training schools our destination. Okay, so now we know where to go. Huh, okay, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. Definitely in favor of the Rotom decks. Not to mention it's just really cool. I like how he's just kind of, he's just looking at you. I wish there was a way to turn off the blinking because it's kind of creepy to see him just subtly blink every once in a while. He's just, you know what, whatever. Uh, let's get nine of these. I don't feel like we're gonna be using any crazy more amount than that anytime soon. But look how much money they give you early game. That's wild. Did not expect that. Uh, let's get like five of these just so we're safe. I don't, I, you know, you never want to be too paralyzed, too poisoned early in the game. And we'll get some awakenings too. Don't really think we'll have any use for burn heals early or ice heals, just considering you don't really meet those uh, statuses until very late in the game, I think. Or that's how it normally is. Maybe in this game it's different. I don't know. Right, let's get three escape rope. And boom, we are all stocked up. Look at that. We are, we got items on items on items. And what is over here though? Is this a, oh, it's like a drink shop or something? Okay. Uh, what can I get you started for? Oh, okay. So you can get some cool little drinks. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. What do you have to say, bro? Okay. Nothing too much. Well, that's interesting, man. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Definitely wasn't talking to the PC there. I was definitely talking to the kind gentleman next to the PC. I don't know, I just want to see what these people have to say. Maybe they, maybe they got some secret little Easter egg or something, we can get a little piece of loot. You never know, but um... I think with that, we're just going to go ahead and wrap up the second episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon playthrough. I know we didn't really get too much done this episode, but what can you expect from very early in our LP? But it looks like next episode, we will be finally getting a good start in this game, and honestly, I cannot wait. So, thank you all so much for checking out, and I will... Uh, checking out. <laughs> checking out this part. Make sure you guys do leave a like if you did enjoy. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part three, because you are not going to want to miss an episode of this epic, epic adventure. I definitely... I, I can say that confidently. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out and I'll see you all in episode three. Peace out.